Okay, folks. Hi, this is Jürgen Richt from Seaside Kansas State again. I um, want to discuss with you today a little bit about some of the efforts we uh, undertake with ICA. ICA is Instituto Colombiana Agropecuario, which is the USDA equivalent in Colombia, and we are finalizing a MOU uh, uh, contract with them because we want to work with them more closely on rapid detection of foreign animal diseases in a country where foreign animal diseases are still endemic. We don't have them, but we have to design and, and develop uh, uh, widgets to detect foreign animal diseases very rapidly very, and with high specificity and sensitivity. And so for us, uh, Colombia is a good place to start with because it's, uh, it, it's not too far from our shores and it has two important diseases we're interested in. One is classical swine fever and the other one is food and mouth disease. And our first project we do with them is um, classical swine fever, which is a disease that affects mainly swine and domestic and feral swine. And it causes a, a, a death and in, in many cases, uh, especially feral swine only subclinical disease and so the feral swine are very critical for for as a reservoir for this disease in country countries where this disease is endemic and it will devastate if it comes to our source our economy our pig pork production export etc significantly and it's not only Colombia which is endemic before classical swine fever it's also the, some of the Caribbean uh, uh, islands and places so it's pretty close to our shores and we have to be very alert that this is one of the foreign animal diseases which can pretty easy if if things go wrong hit US shores so what we want to do with them is this Colombia was in good shape had almost eradicated classical swine fever by using vaccination as a vaccine from China, which they use. However, with the problems in Venezuela, with the economical problems, there is now a lot of illegal trade coming from Colombia, uh, from Venezuela into Colombia, and with this, pigs and other livestock. And, and so now the disease, which was almost eradicated, is flaring up all over the place in Northeast Colombia uh, along the border to, to uh, Venezuela. So what we want to do is we want to introduce and test our next generation point of need diagnostics, molecular diagnostics and serological diagnostics in Colombia in the areas where classical swine fever is endemic. We first will validate our tests in Bogota at the major at the headquarters, and then we go out to the regional lab at the border and at the northeast into um, at the border to Venezuela and test our equipment and our rapid diagnostic tools in this area in their regional labs and into the field. This will give very fast, hopefully decision-making tools to the chief veterinary, veterinary officer, which I met to last week in Bogota, as well as to ICA, who does uh, the, rec uh, the, the diagnostics for these foreign animal diseases in Colombia. And so we, 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 we almost done with our contracts, and then we go with the team down there and test our point of need diagnostics, and hopefully we can help them to have more rapid diagnostics for classical swine fever first. Next will be food and mouth disease. And also it helps us to validate or evaluate our equipment, how it really works in the field. Thank you very much.